On October 30, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced that he had officially requested long-range Tomahawk missiles from the United States to enhance Ukraine's capability to target critical Russian infrastructure and prevent future attacks. He stated that by acquiring these missiles, Ukraine could extend its strike range, with the potential to reach deep into Russian territory. However, this request carries substantial implications. While their delivery would provide Ukraine with critical strategic depth, it would also intensify U.S. involvement, risking heightened tensions with Russia. Amid the ongoing conflict, Ukraine's request for Tomahawk missiles seems highly strategic. These missiles have proven themselves as some of the best in long-range precision. If you're curious about their capabilities in this episode, we'll dive into what makes the BGM-109 Tomahawk such a formidable weapon. Let's explore its impressive power. The Tomahawk is a US-made cruise missile primarily used by the US Navy. Measuring between 5.56 to 6.25 meters and weighing 1,192 to 1,440 kilograms, it can carry a conventional warhead up to 500 kilograms. Introduced in the 1970s by General Dynamics, the Tomahawk was initially designed for submarine launches. Over time, advancements in navigation and propulsion have allowed it to launch from various platforms, including ships, ground launchers, and even aircraft. Production is now led by Raytheon, with contributions from McDonnell Douglas. The Tomahawk supports a variety of warheads, such as conventional explosives, TNT, and even nuclear, depending on the mission. It comes in several versions, the TLAMC for land attacks, the TLAMD with bomblet capability, and the anti-ship TASM variant. Guided by GPS and terrain-following technology or TURCOM, the Tomahawk flies low to avoid detection with infrared stealth due to minimal heat emission. Equipped with digital terrain matching and timing controls, the missile is precise and effective against static targets, including communications and air defense centers. Long-range radar helps guide it, ensuring accurate strikes on designated land targets. Ukraine has a compelling reason to seek the Tomahawk missile, as it is capable of carrying out long-range unmanned strikes with exceptional performance. Known for its unparalleled precision, the Tomahawk can accurately hit even the smallest of targets. As previously mentioned, the missile is versatile, capable of delivering either nuclear or conventional warheads. The U.S. Navy's naval strike capabilities are heavily reliant on the Tomahawk missile system, as it has proven indispensable for contingency operations. The Tomahawk Strike is designed to disrupt or delay enemy military movements, neutralize adversary air operations, and suppress air defense systems. Furthermore, the missile is strategically used to eliminate high-value targets, such as power plants, command and control centers, and weapon storage and assembly facilities. With a range of 1,120 kilometers and a speed of 880 kilometers per hour, the Tomahawk remains an impressive tool. Its high velocity and extended range in no way compromise its pinpoint accuracy in striking designated targets. Only three nations have acquired the Tomahawk missile. The United States, operated by the U.S. Navy, the United Kingdom, operated by the Royal Navy, and Spain. If Ukraine were to receive Tomahawk missiles, it would open new operational possibilities, but presents challenges regarding deployment. 
Ukraine currently lacks Typhon ground launch systems, and even the US Army has only two batteries of them, making it unlikely Ukraine would receive an entire set. However, Typhon's adaptable design uses the versatile Mark 41 launch system, initially for US Navy ships, on a mobile chassis, suggesting potential for alternative deployment solutions, similar to Ukraine's makeshift Franken-Zam system. According to Ukrainian military analyst Suri Kuzin, long-range Tomahawks could help balance forces, much like Russia's caliber missiles, which have heavily impacted Ukraine's infrastructure. A recent Jamestown Foundation analysis identified 12 key Russian missile industry facilities between 800 and 2,000 400 kilometers from Ukraine. While Washington hasn't authorized strikes within Russia, providing tomahawks could indirectly enable deeper strikes, even without formal permission. However, logistical limits make a large-scale delivery unlikely. U.S. officials cite limited tomahawk stocks due to commitments in other regions. Still, even a modest supply could provide Ukraine with a strategic advantage, enabling targeted strikes on Russian command centers or supply hubs to disrupt operations.